Hey, what's up guys? It's Jono here from jono-armstrong.com. Welcome to another 5-Minute Friday tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to beat the 2023 incoming recession, which is looking to be pretty severe and a lot of people are going to get wiped out. So I want to show you inside of this video how you can beat the recession by starting a side hustle. And it's actually a lot easier right now than it's ever been before. Now, the, the main thing that you need to understand is that there's two different types of people in the world, right? You've got consumers and you've got producers. Now, 95% of people are consumers. They buy stuff all the time. They consume content online, right? And then you've got the 5% of people which are producers, which are producing goods, physical goods and digital goods to sell. And they're also producing content online which helps them to sell their products to the 95% of consumers. So you've got to decide, are you a consumer or are you a producer? And if you are a consumer, that's fine, but I'd like you to become a producer because that's when you're going to start making money. So I'm going to show you what you need to do inside of this video tutorial today. All right. So step number one is you need to start a side hustle. Okay. First of all, you're definitely going to be passionate about something, right? You're definitely good at something. Everybody has their own individual talent. Everybody is passionate about something. Everybody is good at something, right? You need to decide what you're really passionate about or what you're really good at that you can then go and teach to other people. No matter how niche that thing is, there's definitely a market for it out there online, okay? Even if it is super, 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 super niche, like how to manually thread uh, prayer mats in a church, that is super niche. But there's going to be an audience for those types of people out there, which you can sell to, so don't worry. All right, so for step number one, you need to find out what you're passionate about, okay? Now, it's even better if they're going to be in the main niches, which are health, wealth, relationships, and hobbies. These are, the, these are the four biggest niches in the world, and there is billions of people in these four niches. So if you have a passion that's related to any of these four niches, you're good to go. But like I just said before, even if your, your passion is super, super niche, there's still going to be an audience for it, right? If you don't have anything that you think that you're good at, then you can learn, right? You spend two weeks really focusing and researching how to do one thing. And I guarantee in that two weeks, you're going to know more about it than 99% of people out there to the point where you can, where you can uh, confidently teach it to other people, right? So spend two weeks learning a new thing. It could be how to do SEO with YouTube videos or how to crack the algorithm in Instagram. All right. There's going to be so much information out there that you can go and consume and learn to the point where you will become an expert within two weeks. So if you don't have something that you're passionate about, something that you want to teach, go and find something, go and research it to the point where you become an expert and you can teach it to others. So that's step number one. Find out what you're good at and what you can teach to others. Step number two what you're going to do is create a digital course. Now, it doesn't need to be very in depth. All right. We're only talking 15 to 20 videos max. What you need to do here is break it down into weeks, right? So each week is going to consist of maybe four to five videos, right? You've got an introduction, you've got video number one, number two, number three, number four. Okay. That's week one done. Each video is going to be around five minutes long. You can record it with your cell phone if needs be. You can record it with a, a screen recording software, which is called Screencast-O-Matic, which is totally free to use. Go and Google it if you want to do that. that. Where there's a will, there's a way. And usually where there's a will, you can get something for free as a tool to do it. All right. So break it down into weeks, create content for each video. Each video is maximum five minutes. It's not going to take you long to do. And you can even go and put all of your ideas into a Google Doc like you can see here. This is a this is a program that I'm actually going to be announcing in a few days that I'm very, very excited about, okay? 
And this is, th this is my structure. So I put it all into a Google Doc. So this is my intro video. Okay, this is all the stuff that I said. It's basically scripting out every video. This is uh, the next video, the next video, and you can see I've made notes about every single thing in here, so I know exactly what I need to say in each video. So failing to plan is planning to fail, so make sure that you do have a plan. I use Google Docs to do mine, and I script it out, every single thing that I wanna say in that video. So you have that plan, you have that framework, and then you go and record your videos, okay? Super easy. So then, once you have your videos and you need somewhere to host it, you can either use WordPress, you can use Squarespace, you can use Kajabi, you can use ClickFunnels, all right? ClickFunnels and Kajabi are quite expensive, so it's not something that I really recommend. Although they, they are very, very professional, they look very professional and uh, they're great. I use these things all the time, but um, if, you, if you're short on money, then you probably might not want to use Kajabi or ClickFunnels, but Squarespace is, Square, Squarespace is great and so is WordPress. I'm not going to show you exactly how to do all of this stuff inside of this tutorial. This is just an overview. If you want more details on how to set up a membership area inside of WordPress, Squarespace, Kajabi, or ClickFunnels, then just go and do some research on YouTube. There's so many videos on there. It's going to show you how to do that. Anyway, you need somewhere to host your videos. Next, you're going to need a sales page, okay? And you're going to need what's called sales copy, which is the words on that sales page. This is also pretty easy. All you need to do is go over to another one of my favorite websites, which is called Fiverr, and you go and search for sales page. You've got all these people in here, like this lady here. I will write professional landing page and sales page copywriting for you. 150 bucks, she'll write all of your sales page for you. And then you're gonna need a sales page designer. And also you can find this on Fiverr. You see this guy for 145 bucks will do it, do, will make you a sales page on ClickFunnels, on Kajabi, okay? You can get somebody to do it on WordPress as well. All of this stuff you can, you can outsource. You don't really need to be an expert in doing any of that stuff at all. You can just get somebody else to do it, which is great. Right, you can take payments via Stripe or via PayPal. It's very easy to integrate as well. Once you have that, then congratulations, you have your own product. You've produced something that you can now sell to other people. So the next step is to get traffic, okay? But before we get traffic, we need a way to capture leads because not everybody's going to buy the first time that they see what you're selling, okay? They're, they're probably gonna have to come back and come back and come back. So the best way to do this is to capture email addresses via what's called an autoresponder. Now I've linked down below to the autoresponder that I use, it's called GetResponse, okay? It looks like this right here, okay? I know this looks a little bit confusing, but it's actually pretty simple. The first thing that you'd need to do is go up here, go to Contacts, all right, and then you're going to create a list, okay? So you go and create a list, and I'm just gonna call this Jono Test List. Click on Create, boom, done. Next thing that you need to do is you need to go and create an autoresponder. So you click up in Tools, you go to Autoresponders. You click on Create Autoresponder. Okay, and you go and create an autoresponder that corresponds to that new list that we just made. If any of this is confusing or if I'm going too fast, don't worry, there's plenty of other tutorial videos on there that will specifically show you how to make an autoresponder using GetResponse and how to do all of that setup stuff. So go and do some research on that. But basically what you want to do in this autoresponder is have seven to 10 short emails that are getting people to go back to your sales page. So you have the link to your sales page every time in every email that you automatically send out, okay? And you're getting people to go back to your sales page each time. Pretty simple. Now, to capture these leads, what you'd need to do is go and create a form. So again, you would click up here in Tools. You would go to uh, Forms down here, okay? And you would, you would click on Create New Form. And I'm just gonna go with list build wizard and it will give you all of these different templates you can use, right? So let's say for example, we use this one here or if it's a weight loss one, we can go ahead and use this template. It's gonna allow us to make this form very easily so that we can capture 
email addresses. So all you need to do is just edit this stuff, change the, the writing on here, and then under settings, you click on settings up here, and you would call this, I'm just gonna call it Jono test form. <clears throat> Choose your list. Now remember we made that list which was called Jono test. So I'm gonna scroll down here, Jono test list, right? <clears throat> and then down here where it says choose thank you page, you'd click on custom and you would put in the URL of your sales page that you had created on Fiverr. Somebody's gonna make that for you, right? You'd put that in, in there, in this section down here. That's basically all you need to do. And then you click on save and it's going to, okay, let me just change this back. You click on save and you click on publish And then it's going to, you can say, get response will host my form. And then you can grab this URL. And this is the URL that you will use to get your traffic later. So if I load that up in a new page, you can see this is the form that I just created. So people will fill in the name and their email address, and that will allow us to capture that data. All right. Now we've already created an autoresponder inside of here, so those seven to 10 emails that we pre-wrote pre will go out automatically and get people back to our sales page each time. I hope that makes sense. So this URL here is what we're going to use in the next step of this training, which is, let me just scroll down, which is to get traffic. Now, to do this, we need to, we need to harness the power of social media. And this is, this is easier than ever before with the introduction of what's called short form content or better known as TikTok, reels and shorts. Okay. So what you need to do here is go and sign up for a TikTok account. Okay. An Instagram account and also a YouTube account. Because as you can see here, we have YouTube Shorts, right? We also have Instagram Reels that we can create here, but you'd need to do it from your cell phone. And you've also got TikToks that you can upload here, right? And people are consuming this stuff like crazy. And what you can do here is you can put a link, you can link out to your squeeze page that you created, this form that we created. So any anytime people click on a TikTok or Instagram or a short, they're gonna go through to this page that we created and we can capture their details, right? And send them ultimately to our sales page where they buy our product and we make money, right? That's, that's the general idea. So how do we get traffic from these places like TikTok and Instagram? It's actually pretty simple. What you need to do is go and find the biggest influences in your space, right? So again, depending on the type of product that you've created, if you've made something that's about sewing uh, prayer mats in church, y there's probably some people on Instagram that are already influencers in that space, but that might be a little bit too niche. But if you are in the biggest spaces like health and, uh, health and fitness, like uh, we uh, wealth and finance, hobbies, relationships, there are gonna be influencers on TikTok, Instagram, and, yeah, and, and YouTube shorts that you can go and search for, find people who have the most following, and then all you need to do is copy, copy, just replicate and copy exactly what they've done in their TikToks, in their reels, in their shorts. Some of these shorts and reels, they, they don't even talk, they just point, and they have text going over the screen, and they just point, and they're getting millions of views, right? So you just copy what they're doing because the reason why this is so successful is because you're basically mimicking what the algorithm wants. The algorithm in TikTok, the algorithm in Instagram, the algorithm in, in YouTube. They've seen that that influencer's um, video has been very successful. So if you go out there and you make the exact same video, there's a very high chance that your video will also be extremely successful. And once you get thousands or millions of views, all you need to do is send that traffic to this form that we created. You can capture their emails and you can start making sales. It is so, so easy. All you need to do is just copy those successful influences in your niche, right? So, back to the iPad. 
Um, you link out to your autoresponder. If you get 10, 10 sales per day, let's say that you sell your product for $20. You only get 10 sales per day. That's $200 a day. And it's all pretty much on autopilot. All you need to do is just keep on copying these influences, making more videos, and getting more traffic. The more traffic you get, the more money that you're gonna make. If you get 100 sales per day, that's two grand a day, you know? And that is very, very, very possible with the amount of traffic that there are on these short, short form content videos on, on TikTok, Instagram, and, and YouTube. The most important thing to remember is just do not give up, okay? You may not get results for the first month, two months, right? And most people give up at that point, and that's a real shame because they're so close to hitting the jackpot because as soon as you are consistent with consistently uploading these videos to these short-form content social media platforms, sooner or later, it's just going to explode, and it's going to take off, and you're going to get so much traffic, and you have a way to monetize that traffic using the digital product that you've created. You can make so much money with this. So I hope, I really, really hope that you will take action on the stuff that I've shown you in this video today. Go out there and crush it, supplement your income, and more, impo more importantly, beat this incoming recession that's coming in 2023 by doing exactly what I've told you. It's not gonna be easy, okay? If it was, everybody would be successful. And 95% of people fail because it's not easy. But if you understand that it's not gonna be easy in the first place, but you commit to it at the same time, there's a high chance that you will be successful with this. Just do not give up. Go ahead and follow the steps that I've just shown you in this video. If you need more information on each step, go and research it individually on YouTube. Find out exactly how to do it. Put the pieces together and go out there and do it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, like, subscribe, do all of that kind of stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.